Keithy D has been arrested for the involvement in Tupac's murder. The biggest murder of a celebrity in modern times will finally be solved. Officially. We all know who did it in real life. Tupac was shot after a Mike Tyson fight in September 1996. There was a fight involving Orlando Anderson, a Los Angeles Crip, over a death row chain. The story was basically that a blood named Trayvon Lane was apparently jumped and depending on who you speak to Trayvon's death row chain was taken or the Crips attempted to take his chain. Orlando Anderson apparently was one of them that was part of that altercation. According to the stories over the years Trayvon goes to the his death row crew or or he might have gone to Tupac depending on who you ask again and said hey there's the guy that robbed me of my chain or tried to rob me of my chain. That's when you see on the footage on Las Vegas Tupac dash across and he just goes towards Orlando Anderson and then punches him in the face and the whole death row crew then jump in and just give him a good old beating and Orlando Anderson got beat up pretty good his shoulder was all busted apparently according to Keefe D but after the fight with Orlando Anderson Suge, Tupac and the whole death row crew were gonna go to 662 which was Suge Knight's nightclub so they went and changed got into their outfits for the club and they were on their way there meanwhile Orlando Anderson had met his uncle Keefe D and the rest of the homies and told them what happened and they got in the car locked and loaded looking for Tupac to get revenge but long story short they do find Tupac several shots later Tupac is shot Suge Knight is shot in the head but survives but Tupac didn't survive his injuries and he later died on September 13th 1996 now this case ended up being a cold case for decades basically even though there was always that word on the street that Orlando Anderson was the shooter it was never there was never enough evidence to actually prosecute him while he was alive because he ended up dying in 1998 so it ended up just being a cold case